Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another great fun time episode with your favorite Scar, and we're continuing to build our amazing modern house. So let's get into today's episode. All right, welcome back, and let's give Jelly her little meal there. There you go. All right, so we're back to our modern house. We are taking a look at our entranceway that we built in our last episode. So we built this pretty cool little uh, ceiling up there and that looks really awesome. We went with this design you guys chose in the last episode is, I believe this was A or, no, I forgot which one it was A or B now, but this is the one that you guys chose, not the little bit more ornate one. And I did remove that center column. There used to be a half slab in here. I thought it was kind of a good compromise right there. If you know, it's a little less decorative, it goes a little bit better with the design, but just adding that kind of makes it look kind of cool. And yeah, so there's our entryway. It looks pretty darn cool. So let's head up our staircase that we built. Up a staircase we go. And here is our second story. So for our second story, I think this area is going to be kind of an open area up here. Kind of nice little open area. I like the glass down to the ceiling. I think that looks pretty cool. And over here will be some rooms. And probably over here there will be another room. And guess what? Over here, there's going to be some more rooms over here. So I think maybe like some type of nice bedroom on this side because of the additional windows and things like that for over there. And yeah, so I thought on this episode, we can just kind of start to finish up some of the uh, structural details of the house, finish the walls and get some of that stuff done. So I thought we'd just kind of bust that out a little bit. So let's get started on that. And I'm still contemplating changing the back of the house again. I know in every, each episode, I'm like, okay, I moved it back three blocks, I moved it back two blocks, and it hasn't changed since the last episode, but I've kind of been thinking about moving it back just another couple blocks, because the staircase was a little bit bigger than I anticipated, but you know, for now, I'm going to keep it there. We'll see how it goes as we move along the episode. So what else are we going to do with this house? I'm thinking, you know, no, no, no. No, no, no rain. It's raining like crazy at my house right now and it's a bit depressing out. It's like super gray. It's like nighttime right now pretty much and it's the middle of the day. And I will not be in Minecraft while it's raining. Will not get double rain, no double rain. So let's just finish moving this along. Like I was saying, um, I think for the back, ah, I just can't decide. It's just a little bit skinnier than I thought. What we could do is from about, you know, say right around here or so, we can push this out just a little bit farther. We'll have to cut some more trees down, but you know, we'll just think about it. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. The thing about this house actually is I built this for the look of the front. I never really thought about the inside. When I built the house on Scarland, that house was built for the interior mostly, not the outside. The outside, you know, I had that little model that I talked about in the very first episode. So I kind of designed the front of that off of that. But everything was built around the kitchens and the living rooms and the bedrooms and stuff. But this one was purely designed on the front. I just thought it looked cool to kind of build those little stairs and some wood and some of uh, the hardened clay and things like that. But for the most part, <laughs> the interior has been in, in, uh, kind of a challenge, kind of a challenge. All right, so just finishing up the walls along here. And, I, you know, I found something interesting, something interesting today. My brother texted me. He uh, is moving into a new place, and I guess at his new place, there's like the common area of his apartment where they have some, you know, some uh, books or movies or something like that. It turns out the place was an old folks home at one time, and you know, this is where, you know, they had some VHSs and things like that, and I don't know, I just haven't thought of VHSs in a very, very long time. And does anybody remember VHSs? Some people, I, I guarantee you, there's people who are like, v VHSs? Well, what is this? Well, it was a tape, like a very large plastic tape. So I'm trying to think of something nowadays you would think. You know what it is? It's, it's about the size of a iPad mini. And it was about a half an inch thick, I think, or so. And it had tape and you put it inside of a, a VCR. So it's like a DVD, but it was a giant piece of tape that you had to like rewind. And so it was really mechanical. 
And, uh, you know, a DVD is, you know, it just spins around and has like a little laser that reads the disc, but the device itself is just a piece of plastic. And VHS, you know, had lots of little mechanical parts, and when they, these tapes wore out, you know, they were done. They, uh, their colors would fade, which is really sad. I have a few VHSs that have faded, and it's very sad because you can't get them anymore. Like Day at Disneyland, a really cool little thing that they made in the 80s. None of that kind of uh, fake advertising that they do these days now where they're like a bunch of like smiling families like, oh boy. But, you know, it was, it was just back then it was cool. They showed the rides. They had like characters riding the rides. So it was really cool. I liked their marketing back in the old days a lot better than nowadays. But these things wear out and their sound gets weaker and their picture gets fuzzier. But as I was thinking, you know, sometimes I get like a little frustrated, you know, I'm like, why, are, why, why am I not, why can't I go into space? Why can't I go up to a hotel in space? And, you know, I'm always thinking like, well, why can't this be better or things take so long? But that's one thing in my lifetime that has really improved is, you know, digital media, how we don't have to put rolls of film in our cameras anymore and only take 24 pictures on a standard 35 millimeter format. You know, my camera now can take a thousand pictures on my DLSR and my film D, my film SLR could take, you know, 24 or so pictures. And then I got to put a new roll of film in and then I would have to take it to a place and they would charge me boatloads of cash money to get my film developed. So I was thinking, you know, we actually have really improved during my lifetime to, you know, kind of a kind of a pretty cool place with things. You know, digital is getting to a point where I think it is now superior to film. There's a few places that I think films still have an edge on, and it was with dynamic range and a few things like that. But, you know, pretty much film or digital has suppressed film nowadays. And I don't know, I just thought it was interesting how, what things were like, and you pretty much forget about how those things went with VHSs. You know, you got those big plastic tapes, and this tree is in my way. And you got these big VHS tapes that you had to rewind. And, and don't forget, there was no Netflix, you know, just a few years ago either. It's funny how thing you take things for granted at, after, you know, you've had them for a while, and you're like, man, this is awesome. Netflix, you know, I'll go on there, watch something whenever I want to. Back in the day, you had to go to the rental place, Blockbuster Hollywood Video, and you know, they would charge you some crazy amount of money to rent something, you know, like two or three dollars or something to rent a movie, and you would only get it for a couple of days, and if you didn't rewind the movie, they would charge you like 50 cents or a dollar. So, you know, you're always remembering, oh no, did we rewind this? You look on it to see if the, uh, the tape was on the right or left side, that meant it was rewound. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. I just hadn't thought about VHSs and kind of old formats that have come and gone since I've been alive. So it was pretty interesting. All right, so we're just about across here. So let me finish this up and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So we're just taking a look at our roof from above. As you can see, that looks pretty good so far. And I really took quite a quite a quite a gaze at this for a while, and I, I don't think we should push it back any farther. Because if we do, we're never gonna get this done. So what what I did was I've been just running the ceiling across here like that. So you can see I've been putting a block and a half slab on there because once we're inside here, we might be able to do some stuff in the ceiling and still have that half slab up there, you know, giving us a roof. So I think that's pretty good. All right, so we're just filling this in like so. Kind of tedious, so just bringing it across. It's just a lot of clicking, a lot of clicking, and I wanted to cut some of that part out, but um, thought I'd come back in here and kind of show you guys the progress we're getting to at this point. And I'm just haphazardly adding this. Look at this, I'm like, just, I'm like spraying it with a hose. I'm like just clicking, clicking away. And let's see, let's just finish up about right about there, and we'll just bring this across here. And then we'll start working on some of the details on the sides. So there we go, got that done. And we'll just take this along here. Then this just adds a nice layer of cyan hardened clay along here. And there we go. And then we'll just run another half slab of quartz along here. 
Very nice. There's we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoop. There we go. Come around the back and just a lot of lot of blocks to place. A lot of like lines of this, that, and the other to be placed. There we go. And we'll just run that all along there like so. Then we'll swoop down over here. And then we will run this block all the way across. And we're not doing anything, anything, you know, technical if you're following along. We Oh no, what? Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? Oh shoot. Shoot, I did it. I did it wrong all the way across. Well, let's see actually which one is wrong. Hopefully the short one's the wrong one. Yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Scar just made a really big one. Um, okay, there's that one. This comes along here like so. Oh, I ran it off the top of this one. Which one's wrong? Let me just bust this open. So if this is our future floor. Okay, all right, I see. Uh, it's the worst one. It's the worst one. It's the worst. All right, so let me fix that and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I fixed our little mistake. So now we can finally get going here and continue to work on this. And let's see here, just finishing up along here, getting all the little details done. And then we'll be able to move on inside and finish some more of our structural detail inside there. And you know, I'm thinking for the backyard. So for the backyard, there is a night, there is something that I have wanted all my life, and that is a backyard railroad. So, you know, like a train that you know you can get on and drive around and stuff. I have wanted that my entire life. Walt Disney, the man who created the Walt Disney Company and, you know, Disneyland and all, he had a backyard railroad, and it was one of his inspirations to make Disneyland. And inside of his. Carol, what was it? I think he called it, it was the Carol Road Pacific Railroad, he called it. And let's see, let's just finish this up here. And you know, he had these little tunnels and he had a train where he could ride, I don't know, four or five people on it. And you know, he just rode around his backyard and all that stuff, had like a tunnel under his house and stuff. So cool. I want a, I want a railroad for my house and I don't have one, it's pretty much impossible, so I'm gonna build one in Minecraft, and I think this would be a perfect house to have a railroad on the backyard, because this is kind of like a dream house, a little bit, pretty cool, and I think back in the railroad back there, maybe we could do a backyard railroad. I think that'd be really cool. I can't remember the exact scale of his railroad, but some of the other animators who worked at the studio back then, um, they had pretty, I think they pretty much had life-size railroad like trains i know john lassiter currently has all at johnson's train or was it ward kimball's those two guys both had um backyard railroads that got walt interested in them and that's pretty cool and i love those guys and i think that'd be a really cool thing to build inside here so here is our house and we have some really crazy shadow glitches on our ceiling See, these are just temporary uh, light blocks up there for now, but look at those shadows up there. Let me switch over to the time of day here, and hopefully these go away when we put stuff. Oh, there we go. Good, they're gone. All right. Okay, these things are really creepy. Creeping me out. So creeping me out. There we go. Let's knock this one out over here. <laughs> those are really spooky. Okay, get those out of there. All right, there we go, perfect. Okay, so now we got our house kind of boxed in. Now we can really kind of get an idea of how our shape of our house is gonna go. This will be a little bit better in kind of visualizing our house. So now we wanna work on our floor. Hello there, spider, how are you? Um, let's see here, so what do we wanna do here? I'm going to, see like I talked about in the previous episode, I like to kind of place down a starting block like this. And then later on, when we come back, we can change the material to something else. So either a wood or something along those lines. But for me, when I visualize things, sometimes it's easy to see kind of a, a placeholder, if you will, something to kind of carve out. So not all the floors are going to be quartz, 
but it's kind of an easy uh, thing to kind of think, okay, so now we have a floor, and then how will I build walls? So will I build a wall along here and things like that? And some of our floors might be quartz, who knows? So we're just gonna bring this down. Once I get to the end of the staircase, then we'll kind of go down and make sure everything is lining up appropriately. There we go, let's just place another glow block there. And coming across here, I think this is starting to come out pretty good. It's kind of fun to build in creative once in a while. You know, mostly I build in survival. Sometimes I have a creative world where I kind of goof around and mess with things. But for the most part, all my building is done Scarlet, which is survival. All right, I like that. I like that a lot. We can also run this hardened clay block around the sides. And we have, you know, a floor up here. So this is our floor for up on our second story. And if we choose to do, you know, I don't know, some other material up there like that, we can always just cover it up with something down here. So yeah, I think this is coming out quite nice. So let me bring this floor all the way across and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. And I gotta fill this in, it was really bugging me. Really bugging me right here having the grass in this area that we've somewhat completed. So we'll just fill that in like so. And let's head up our staircase. And we're now on our second story. So here are our two staircases leading up to kind of our little uh, open area that we'll have up here. And I think these will be quartz blocks. And then in some of the rooms, like maybe there'll be a bedroom here and it'll have maybe a different color floor in here. But now we can kind of get a good idea of how our floors are all gonna go. You know, we have lots of room for all sorts of different types of rooms inside the house. And I think this is starting to come up really well. And well guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. Now I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I think that's good. I think that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it like this. So we're gonna go one, two, three from there. So technically, if we go up here like this, and yeah, that should be good, that should be good. So three, technically four, so we're gonna bounce on over here. We're gonna go one, two, three, four.